Hello everyone and welcome to a Thanksgiving themed game of Fitness Trivia! <laughs> this is my mother, Karen Kane. I'm Dr. Stephen Kane, president of the Whole Brain Health Initiative. And yes, feel free to laugh at my silly costume here. It's going to be a really fun game. Let's get started off with our warm up. Deep breathing, arms over your head. Exhale slowly, let the arms come down. Again, deep breath in. Again, even though I may look a bit silly here, please understand that I am quite serious when I encourage you to listen to your body. If anything feels uncomfortable, feel free to sit it out, go with the pace that works best for you. The more you can listen to your body, the more you will get out of this program. Categories for today's game will be riddles, Thanksgiving, jokes, and brain health. Mama, why don't you go ahead and spin the wheel here? Shove sure. us aside our first category. All right, and it looks like we will be starting with Thanksgiving. All right, still in our warm up here, we're gonna start off stretching. We're gonna pull, if you're seated, a knee towards your chest. Or if you're standing, you can bring a heel towards your butt. Good balance, Mom. Thank you. Yeah, good at that. It's working out today. <laughs> In what century was Thanksgiving first celebrated? So let's switch legs here. You can't have a little help for my turkey. I, I got you. <laughs> All right. Clue for you is, what is the legal driving age in the United States plus one? Fabulous, everyone. And the answer here is the 17th century, specifically 1621, was the very first Thanksgiving celebration. Next up, posture stretch here. So you're gonna bring the arms back, palms up, retracting your head, your shoulders, really counteracting core posture by opening the front of your chest, your neck, just like this. And the question for you is, what is the skin on a turkey's neck called? A waddle <laughs> or a gobble? <laughs> Another deep breath in and really melt into this stretch, opening up your chest, your shoulders. Great for your posture. All right, and the answer here is a waddle. <clears throat> And I have a question for you, Mr. Turkey. Oh, yeah? Do you know what the skin on a human's neck is called? The loose skin <laughs> on a human's neck? It's called a turkey neck. A turkey neck. Oh, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> All right, we're going to stretch one wing across if you're a turkey. Or I suppose an arm if you're a human. Does the average person eat more or less than 4,000 calories on average during the Thanksgiving feast. Here, stretch the other way. You think this is an obvious one, Mom? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing how, I'm, how I eat on Thanksgiving, yes. <laughs> so the answer on average is 4,500 calories is what the average person consumes on Thanksgiving. And just for reference, 3,500 calories is equal to one pound of fat. So that's that's quite a quite a bit that's of food. A lot. We're loading up on. That's a lot. Yeah. But to be honest, I'd be lying if I said I never ate more than 4,000 calories. So, gobble gobble. <laughs> All right. Next one. Reaching over your head. Good. And you're really opening up the side of your torso, and your shoulder, and your armpit here. Reach up as high as you comfortably can. Doing fabulous, everyone. In this picture, taken in 1952, it's showing which U.S. president touching the turkey. You want to give them a clue for this one, Mom? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> the clue is this president was not a false man. Hmm. 
Well, if he's not a false man, he must be Harry Truman. All right, next exercise here. We're gonna lean to the side and raise the leg up. Good, to the side, good. Besides retail store workers, what other profession has its busiest time of the year on Black Friday? Getting those drumsticks up nice and high. <laughs> I think they might need a clue for this one, man. Okay, here's your clue. Think of all the food you ate Thanksgiving just the day before Black Friday. And where does all that food go? <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out that on Black Friday, <laughs> plumbers have their busiest day of the year. I never knew that. 4,500 calories all in one meal. <laughs> all right. Well, this concludes the Thanksgiving portion of fitness trivia. Are we gonna have mom spin the wheel for our next show sure. right here? All right, and it looks like we have jokes. Now it turns out our jokes have gotten so good that they booked us on the Mayflower to do a performance. So we are off to the Mayflower. All right, first exercise here, turkey flappers. Bring your arms to the side and flapping the arms up and down, starting off nice and slow, listening to your body. And the question is, why do seagulls fly over the sea? And if you feel comfortable going just a little bit quicker or a little bit higher, feel free to do so. And the reason that seagulls fly over the sea is that because if they flew over the bay, They'd be bagels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next exercise here. We're gonna start with the feet in and to the side, in, out, in, out. Beautiful. So I'm wondering what Thanksgiving drink is sad? Hmm. Again, find that pace that's right for you. If you wanna go a little bit quicker, Go for it. Do you have a clue for this one, my turkey? Well, it's a drink that's associated with apples. Actually made from apples. Made from apples. All right, what's the answer, Mama? Cider. <laughs> <laughs> Cider. Cider. All right, next one. Just pressing the arms up and down. Beautiful. What kind of sound does a bird's cell phone make when you call it? Sometimes I call this bird right here. <laughs> All right. And the answer here, the sound that a bird's cell phone makes when you call it is wing wing. <laughs> Next one here, bringing the elbow towards the knees. Again, nice and slow, feeling it out. What does a crow use a telephone pole for? And if you wanna go a little bit quicker, feel free to pick up the pace. Always listening to your body. This is an excellent abdominal exercise. And you all are doing fantastic over there. Right, so a crow uses a telephone pole to make a long distance call. <laughs> All right, next exercise here is dancing arm circles. You can add a little pizzazz to yeah, this dancing yes, arm circles. Yes, you can. And the question is, where do turkeys go if they want to dance?
Think this is how the pilgrims danced? <laughs> I'm wondering if it's how the turkeys danced. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless of how the turkeys dance, where they go to dance would be the butterball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, marching in place. Bring up one knee and the opposite arm. As high as is comfortable for you. And the question is, what kind of noise does a limping turkey make? And if you're comfortable, really drive those drumsticks up a little bit higher. So a limping turkey does not make the sound gobble gobble, but instead makes a sound wobble wobble. <laughs> okay, next up we do kick punch. So you kick with one leg, punch with the other. Beautiful. What is the appropriate, appropriate response when someone tells you to stop telling Thanksgiving jokes? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to modify this for myself because I need to. Just going to do a slight bend at the knees and continue with the punch. Fabulous, Mom. And for all you participants out there, listen to your body. Let her be a great role model here. Alter the exercise, alter this program however it's best for you. So when someone tells you to stop telling Thanksgiving jokes, what you would tell them is, I can't just quit cold turkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this concludes our comedy performance. And now we'll have Mama spin the wheel again to decide our next category. Okay. All right, and it looks like we have riddles. And our first riddle is about pumpkins, so we're going to go somewhere to put us in a pumpkin state of mind. Okay, we're in the pumpkin patch, and we're going to actually speed walk. Now, a speed walk is a small step. It's not a great big step. And we're going to start off slowly, and then at your pace, pick it up. Pick up the pace. And just go as, as fast as you comfortably can. Doing great, everyone. Now, what does pumpkin and 3.14159 represent? <laughs> Tap into that high school brain that you needed for your math class. Or you can think about one of the yummiest Thanksgiving Day desserts. All right, so pumpkin and 3.14159 represents pumpkin pie. Oh, yum, <laughs> <laughs> with the cream. <laughs> All right, arms over your head, and I'm gonna lean to the side, just a little bit, and the other side, and gradually leaning a little bit further each time, again, listening to your body. The further you go, the more of a challenge it will be, strengthening your core muscles, on the side of your torso. All right, and question for you is, what has ears but cannot hear? And a little clue, what will you find on a cob? Great work, everyone. Getting lots of wonderful benefits from the exercise. And you're also learning some new fun information here. And the answer here would be corn. All right, next exercise here, we're going to lean forward and come up into an uppercut. Beautiful. And question is, 
If April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? And your clue, May flower can return can refer to flowers or a ship. Not a clue, you just look at my mama here. <laughs> what is she dressed as? This would be a pilgrim. May flowers bring pilgrims. All right, next exercise, arms to the side. Start off slow circles. And riddle here, what side of the turkey has the most feathers? And feel free to go a little bit quicker with the circles if you're comfortable with it. And if this, if this is a little uncomfortable for you, you want to make it a little bit easier, you can bring the arms in and do circles like this. But if you can do it, arms out to the side, keep your arms out to the side. But I tell you, Mama, with all this exercise here, it's getting a little warm on the inside of my costume. <laughs> so the opposite way of the circles here. you're getting a little burn in the shoulders, strengthening those shoulder oh, muscles. I'm getting a burn all Making right. the bones more dense and less likely to fracture. Wonderful. And the side of a turkey with the most feathers would be the outside of the turkey. All right. Next up, leaning forward, squatting down if you're standing, raising up that drumstick. And what type of key cannot unlock a door. <laughs> Here's a clue. What is my son right now? He is called a... Gobble, gobble. <laughs> The answer would be a turkey. A uh, turkey is a type of key that cannot unlock a door. <laughs> All right, congratulations everyone. That's it for the riddles. Last category will be brain health. So let's go somewhere serene for the last category. All right, starting off with a Y, coming down to a W. This is an excellent exercise for our posture. Now, what makes a person tired after a Thanksgiving feast? All the tryptophan in the turkey, or simply eating a lot and drinking a lot? I've been told that it's the tryptophan. Oh, you have? Was that right? No! <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that even though tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin, the hormone that makes us feel calm and satiated, eating a lot of tryptophan doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make more serotonin. The truth is that just eating and drinking a lot at any meal is going to make you feel tired. So not the trip to fan, just eating and drinking a lot. Very interesting. All right, next exercise, jumping rope. With our imaginary jump rope here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and finding that pace that's comfortable for you. Go as fast or as slow as your body tells you to. Beta carotene is very good for our skin and our immune system. How much more beta carotene is in pasture raised free range chicken eggs versus factory farmed caged eggs? Is this twice as much beta carotene? Three times, four times, or five times as much beta carotene in the free range eggs? And if you're comfortable, maybe jump and rope just a little bit quicker, as long as you're Ooh. comfortable with it. <laughs> I'm going to give it a try. Now I'm going to go back to the slower <laughs> version. Mom, you know you're really cute in that pilgrim outfit, right? 
Uh, answer here is four times as much beta carotene. Any chance you get, opt for the free range, healthier animal products. All right, next exercise, touching the side of our hip. Good core exercise here. Regularly practicing gratitude has been shown to help improve quality of life, improve focus, improve resilience during challenging times, or all of the above. Are you gonna get this one right, Mama? I'd say all of the above. Gratitude is a wonderful thing. And what are you grateful for, Mr. Me? Turkey? This turkey? Well, <laughs> I'm thankful for you, Mom, and I'm thankful to be doing fitness trivia and uh, whoever's out there participating, I appreciate you joining me here. And how about all you participants out there? What are you thankful for? Okay, we're just cool down here with some stretching. So we're gonna go ahead and put one leg forward, lean towards that straight leg, stretching the hamstring. Now one cup of cooked Brussels sprouts has only 28 calories yet 137% of what vitamin? Yeah, get a good stretch in that leg. And let's go ahead and switch legs here. Straighten out the other one, leaning towards it, stretching the back part. You wanna give him a clue, Mama? It's the first letter of my name. Oh. So, do you remember my name? <laughs> <laughs> And the answer here is vitamin K for Karen. <laughs> and it turns out vitamin K is very important for our bone health and our bone density. So keep your bones strong with some Brussels sprouts this Thanksgiving. All right, next up, stretching your wing or arm or whatever you got <laughs> across. What spikes your blood sugar less, white potatoes or yams? And stretch the other way here. The answer here would be yams. And keeping your blood sugar down is extremely important because it helps to prevent degeneration of your brain. Now, what other Thanksgiving foods are both tasty and healthy for you? Green beans, turkey, salad, sweet potatoes. And to think even more deeply, and just of all the questions that I ask in this video, this is the most important one for you to figure out. How can you indulge in healthy and satisfying meals that are also healthy and keep you feeling good? Figuring this out is one of the most important keys to leading a long, happy, and healthy life. So think hard about it. Congratulations. Well done, Mama. Congratulations, all you participants out there. You made it through another game of fitness trivia. We'd like to take a moment to honor one of the participants at the in-person fitness trivia we do at American House in Roseville, Michigan. His name's Jeff. And I had the wonderful pleasure of meeting Jeff at one of our classes. And um, he just really, he really touched my heart. Unfortunately, a uh, stroke left him in a wheelchair, but he comes to these classes. He's eager to answer the questions. He's happy to do all of the exercises that he can possibly do. He's upbeat and he's not giving up. He is doing everything he can to improve the quality of his life. And I really honor him for that. Yeah, he is a very special person. We love going to see him. We love seeing everyone uh, at all the fitness trivia programs that we do. This is Jeff, one of our regular participants at the fitness trivia at American House in Roseville, Michigan. So, Jeff, how do you like coming to fitness trivia? I enjoy it. I, I, it's the highlight of my day when we have it. All right. We appreciate having you. You're really sharp. You know a lot of stuff. Well, it, uh, I think it's a good thing gets the body and brain moving. Yeah, absolutely. 
And if you, if your community be interested in having us join you, either in person or virtually via Zoom, we would love to meet you. These programs are even more fun where they're done live. So if you're interested, reach out to me at 248-444-5167. And we will definitely see you in the next episode of Fitness Fitness Trivia. Trivia. And now I'm going to take this turkey home and put him in the oven. Hey! (laughs) 